All right, guys. So today I'm interviewing Augustin. What's up, Augustin? What's up, Ben? How's it going? It's going well. Going well, man. Um, finally glad to get this set up with you. I know we we were trying to get this set up for a while, but um, finally glad to be able to interview you. Um, so Augustin has gone through uh, Empire Mentorship, and uh, I wanted to just ask you some questions um, about your experience and about kind of what, what your wins are um, and the results that came out of it. Sound good? Definitely, definitely. Cool. So um, my main thing that I usually ask, right, is that kind of like, what were you doing before uh, joining the program? You probably checked out a lot of stuff, I'm guessing. But like, what were you doing? You know, like, were you working a nine to five? Or like, what was that? Yeah. So to keep it short, I was working a sales job before this cold call sales. We basically sold medical software. And okay. I was on pace from being like a senior BDR going to an AE, if anyone knows the terminology. Yeah. And Business development rep to an account executive. Exactly. Exactly. And it wasn't a lot of money at the same time. Like I was the best rep there pulling in the most commission and it still was like chump change and all. Yeah. In all yeah, yeah. And I had a good amount of money saved through investing and then just through per personal life. And I wanted to take the leap to possibly go to a different company uh, to just uh, get more sales experience, get into a better role, things of that nature. I ended up quitting before I um, got another job. I, I quit and I was just looking for new jobs and I fell upon this uh, recruiting job. And when I fell acro across a recruiting job, I looked at it like, ah, oh, this isn't sales. I don't know about this. Uh, I don't know if the money's that good. But it was at the, it was like a good base salary, good commission and all that. Then I was just looking stuff up on YouTube. This is the craziest story. Yeah. And then I just see like your face. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, what the heck is this? So I start clicking on it. And uh, I just watched some videos of Ben. And the thing is, like, I had a good amount saved, like I said, and all my friends, all my colleagues at work and stuff would be like, oh, I would have quit this. I would have started my own thing by now. And then it was just kind of destined how I saw all your videos. And I'm like, yeah, I could take this recruiting job or I can try to build this on my own. And mm -hmm. I've always been someone who like once wanted to be a, I have a business mind. I always wanted to create something for myself. And I just took that leap of faith. I got on a call with um, a rep of yours and then kind of, that's kind of how it got into this. I love it. You just segued right in. You just you just got right in because you have that entrepreneur spirit. I love it. And I share that, obviously. And, you know, kind of that's that's, you know, that's the reason M Recruiter Empire is here. And that's the whole reason that um, you went through the program and everything. So let's get to the juicy stuff um, that everyone wants to hear. Right. So, like, you went through the program um, and you obviously, you know, you well. Spoiler alert, you, you kind of crushed it. So um, how many contracts were you able to secure um, when getting into the, pro like in the program? When I first got started, I closed my first contract within like, I'd say seven to 14 days. Ooh. Definitely seven days right. from the point of like sending out my first email. It was within mm -hmm. that seven day period. And it like, I had to get the website set up, the, all the, ins and outs of the front end part of it to get this business established. Mm -hmm. But once the, uh, the emails were getting sent out and stuff, I got my first deal within that first seven days. And since then I've closed around six contracts. Okay. Awesome. Six contract. So six contracts. And we were chatting a little bit before um, we, we did this interview. And so tell us about those contracts just briefly, like kind of how those panned out. Yeah, so as a business owner, of course, um, just a typical kind of immature mind is looking at all those contracts like I have a ton of uh, revenue in my pipeline that I just need to go grab and stuff. But then you soon find out that some of these clients aren't the best to work with, things of that nature. You might be wasting time, energy and money on some bad clients. So all of those contracts weren't the best, but uh, I've been blessed to work with three solid uh, clients. And then two of those clients have came back to me several times, not just two times, but multiple times throughout this last um, time frame, And it's just been, it's been great. Awesome. So out of the, out of the six 
three panned out and then two of them have become like repeat business for you, which yeah. is super typical because if you're delivering value, they're going to love you forever. It's yeah. kind of always what I say. Um, so the bigger question everyone wants to know is always revenue, right? So um, let's talk about the money. What's the money look like uh, on, on the contracts? Like what have you been able to make like yeah. after the program, after getting those contracts, working with those people? Um, what's the numbers look like? Yeah. So in the first, the first month of doing this, I doubled the, like the initial cost of getting into the business. Your investment. That was paid for automatically. And then at this point I closed in revenue over a hundred thousand. Love it. Over six figures. Yeah. Perfect. I love that. Um, yeah. So you, you definitely, you definitely crossed over the, the average of our student that it does 15 to 20 K a month, um, mm -hmm. leaving the program and then north of six figures, um, over a hundred thousand. That's awesome. Um, that you've gone that far. So you were not working any sort of nine to five. Um, you actually just quit and just went straight to it, which is awesome. Um, but let me ask you this. You, you probably could have done this while you were working a nine to five. Like it, am I, am I wrong on that? So like I told you uh, before we kind of hit record here, I have not done much within the time in the recruitment uh, mentorship. I haven't done a lot in regards to biz dev. So mm. I haven't even, if I'm being fully honest with myself, I haven't even given my agency a, a full, um, a full time kind of, I haven't given it that full time energy until recently. Right. So I've done all this uh, with like that part time energy. I have uh, other streams of income and right. business ventures in my life where I don't, I didn't treat my recruitment agency as I should have uh, recently. And um, at this point, I, I do treat it like my baby in a sense. And I do want this to be my lifetime uh, kind of what I'm trying to build forever. Right. So this next year is going to be great for me and it's going to be a wonderful, but to answer your question, I could have easily done this with a, with a job. Uh, I, it's so easy to do. It's just the ins and outs of like the highs and lows is what you have to overcome. The nuance and, and the, the details and the, yeah, the things that are in the program that, you know, that you have to really learn, which you took note of clearly and then got results um, and all of that. But I, I, yeah, I mean, so many people that are going to watch this work a nine to five right now. And that's a big thing. So that's the reason I hit on that question. Yeah. So I'll leave it at this. Um, I mean, you came in, you, you, you came, you saw, you conquered, um, and uh, you're bringing on a, a partner. Uh, you're bringing on a team member. Now I think it's a team member you said, and, and you're just scaling for 2023. You're yeah. just looking to double triple up and all that. And I truly believe you will. Um, my main last question for you, um, so I don't take any more of your time so you can go recruit, is mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, if you were to talk to somebody and they're looking to get into recruiting, um, what's your biggest, you know, piece of advice or your biggest, you know, thing that you would tell them about it based on your experience and everything that you've done so far? What would you say to that person? Well, besides just... Um gain an addiction to it and um, just that passion of wanting to, like I said, wanting to build something that's sustainable and big and just that, that want and urge to like wake up every day to get this stuff done. Um, besides that, I would say just the number one piece of advice is stay a student to the game. Um, mm. the, the best part of, in my opinion, the best part of your mentorship program, besides you kind of, holding the hand at that front end, uh, just making sure everything's situated and set up properly. The best part, in my opinion, is the fact that we're like lifetime uh, colleagues, friends, and all of the people within the, the mentorship are just like connections that I can contact via Facebook or wherever just regularly. And the stuff that I learned when I joined the mentorship program is kind of 180 to where it is now. And it's a recruiting or like any other industry is a constant. Um, it's just changing regularly. 
Mm-hmm. So you got to be up to date with the times, uh, softwares that might change, things of that nature, and just make sure you're staying up to date with stuff so that stuff can stay consistent. And being in your group, it, it makes it very easy because there's recruiters at my level and then there's recruiters that are have multi-million dollar um, agencies and all of those people are working together to make sure that we're all successful. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head right there. Um, right. You know, I think it, it's, it's about a hundred percent of the people in the program tell me that, um, you know, like half the value of the program is the private student group, mm-hmm. which we call the private network, right. For students. So, um, obviously you found tons of value in that. Um, and all of our students pretty much do. So, um, all right, Augustine, I love it. Um, this is great. I'm so happy for your success. Um, thank you for sa- taking the time to sit down and just take, I don't know what this is, 10, 15 minutes that we spent just chatting about kind of where, where you, you know, where you came from, where you're at now and where you're going really, um, which is definitely a good place um, from what I see for all your success to come. So really appreciate it. Um, and, uh, and thanks a lot, man. We'll talk soon again. Absolutely. I really appreciate you, Ben. I appreciate you as well.